let's look at evaluating the inverse cosine function. So we want to find the exact value of the inverse cosine uh, of negative rad 2 over 2. So again, remember this just means for what angle, for what angle measure, um, is the cosine of theta equal to negative rad 2 over 2. So we're just trying to figure out what theta is that gives us an angle of negative rad 2 over 2. So the inverse cosine, we restricted the inverse cosine to be in quadrants 1 and quadrant 2. Now for this particular one, we actually know right away that we're in quadrant two because the value that's inside of the argument is negative. So every time you're evaluating an inverse cosine that has a negative inside your argument, it's going to give you an angle in quadrant two. So angles in quadrant two, which angles have values of rad two over two? Well, we know that here is zero one, uh, at 2 pi over 3, we have negative 1 half rad 3 over 2. Um, at 3 pi over 4, here it's negative rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2. So it looks like it's going to be there at 3 pi over 4, because that's where we get the rad 2 over 2s. Um, and we can see that the x coordinate is negative rad 2 over 2, and the cosine represents the x. So this angle here, which is 3 pi over 4, is going to be the value where this is true. So the cosine of theta is equal to negative rad 2 over 2 when theta is equal to 3 pi over 4. So we can just say the inverse cosine of negative rad 2 over 2 equals 3 pi over 4.